All right, so today we're going to be doing the date function. Um, you should have your document from Course Sites. It should look just like this one. The first thing we're going to do is use the now function, and we're going to do that in cell A1. So I need you, if you're somewhere else in the spreadsheet, click on cell A1. So this is probably the easiest function you'll use. You click on the FX up here in the toolbar, and you type in now. And then when it, you click go, and then it comes up right here, so you click OK. And it, it tells you right here in this little box this box right here returns the current date and time formatted as date and time the function takes new arguments so you click OK and this gives you today's date 12 6 2015 alright so we're going to calculate the payment date 30 day payment date so click on cell F3 we're gonna enter a formula to add 30 days to the date in D3 <clears throat> Alright, so this is easy again. So you're going to press equals. You're going to click on D3 plus 30 and you press enter. Now it does this because it's already formatted for the date, so it's just going to add 30 days to it. You click again on cell F3. Go to the bottom right corner, the black plus sign. You left click, you hold it, you drag it, and you drop it. Um, and again, you see it adds 30 days to the date. For example, this is the easiest one to see. From December 1st, you add 30 days, then it becomes December 31st. Still the same year because it just added 30 days to it. Okay, so now we're going to calculate the outstanding balance in column H. Over here, so we're cell, in cell H3. We're going to do this by subtracting the payment received from the amount of the bill. So again, with any formula, you start with equal sign. You start with the amount of the bill first. And I'm hoping you know why we start with the amount of the bill. Because this is the bigger number. If you start with the smaller number and you subtract the bigger number, it will be negative. But we're starting with the bigger number. And we're going to subtract any payments. So their initial balance was $693.45. They made a $300 payment. And their balance is now $393.45. Going to click back on cell H3. Go to the bottom right corner of the black plus sign. You left click, you drag it, and you drop it. Um, now we're going to calculate 90 days past due. So what that is, is we're going to add, so click on cell I3, and we're going to do equal sign, 90 days past due. That's not 90 days plus, 90 days past due is 60 plus, right here, F3. And why is it 60? Because over here in column F, this is already 30. So 60 plus 30 equals 90. You press enter, and this gives you your 90 days past due date. You go to the bottom right corner, the black plus sign, you left click, and you drag it, and you drop it. Okay, so in cell J3, we're going to calculate the number of days that have elapsed since the last payment was received. We're going to do this using the days 360 function. So we're going to click right here. Mine has already come up, but you're going to type it in, days 360, and you're going to click go. Not days, but days 360. So you'll see when it comes up, there are two options. Be sure you do days 360. And you click OK. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to enter the start date. The start date from the last payment date would be here. 
the end date would be here. And you click OK. I'm sorry, the end date, my bad, would be over here. Because we want to figure out how many days since the last payment from today. Not from the 90 day mark. Okay, so you see in J3, I'll do that again. I may have confused a few. So we're going to enter the days 360. The start date is here, the 30 day payment date. The end date, we're going to use today's date, which is cell A1. All right? And then we're going to click OK. Now I'm going to do, um, I need to show you how to do a um, absolute cell reference. I do hope you remember this from 7th grade, but if not, this is a good refresher. An absolute cell reference means when I automatically fill this, it's going to automatically go back and use this here every time for every cell that I fill. So to do that, to do an absolute reference, you put a dollar sign in front of the A and a dollar sign in front of the 1, and you press Enter. Then when you click and you drag it, what you see is it always goes from here to here. It's always going from the 30-day payment date to today's date. So please, please take note of that. Um, now we're going to determine the average number of days. that oh this is all messed up right here I just saw that so so sad me so we're gonna highlight that click format cells that is formatted with decimal points we need no decimals number with no decimal points Okay, so that means it has been 2,954 days since the last payment. Now right here, J12, we're going to do the average. So I also find it over here in the top. And I click on average. It automatically chooses the cells and I click OK. So the average number of days is 3,000 days since the last payment was received. That would be super horrible if you owned a business. Someone was like 3,000 days late. So if you have any questions. Now if you notice there is a big contrast to the number of days. That is because these dates here are from 2007 and we're now looking at a date in 2015. So this is like huge. This would be a hugely, grossly big problem in a business. Um, if you have any questions, just give me a shout out. But I will change these dates of service. Make sure they're more current dates in your um, <laughs> thing that you have. Uh, well, I'll just leave it the same. So yours is the same as mine. I hope you had a great day day today super easy assignment save it as a excel workbook and upload it for grading